SSL have finally done what we've been asking for. They've created a transport controller for your DAW. Woohoo! So hi guys, SSL have finally released the UF-1, which is their very own transport controller for your DAW. The UF-1 is their new controller, which is basically the UF-8 with a single fader. The UF-1 works exactly the same way as the UF-8 works, except it's got its own transport controls right on the front and also the jog wheel, which also will allow you to scroll through your logic project and it's got a single throw fader. If you have a UF-8 and a UF-1, you can use them together without any trouble whatsoever. One of the other things that is amazing about it is that it has a large screen on it, which for me is going to help now because I won't have to buy a set of VU meters, which I was already thinking about doing to add to my system here so I can see what the volumes of things going in and out are. I'm gonna go through a few of the things that I think are great and the things that I think that I'll be using the most with this thing. The very first one is the master lock, which means that you can, on the UF-1, press the master button. The single fader on the UF-1 will then be locked to your master fader. So using the cursor key section in the middle of the UF-1 works the same way as it does in the UF-8. You can use it to either open up the size of the page or scroll up and down your tracks. There are 10 banks of four programmable soft keys that you can use on the UF-1. And these are also programmable in the same way as the soft keys are programmable in the UF-8 by using the 360 program. Now, one great thing about this and the way that they've implemented it now is now if you're using a keyboard macro in the 360 program, you can now put a delay between key commands in your string in order to make longer and more complex soft key commands. The channel encoder has four modes, which is the move through the channels. It also gives you a fader select. It also gives you the focus mode, which it does also in the UF-8. If you put your mouse over a button on a plugin, you can use the focus mode to use the channel encoder to turn the volume up or down, to turn the parameter up and down. Channel encoder on the UF-1 can also be used as a volume control. For instance, if you have no monitor controller with you, for instance, if you had a laptop, you could take this, use this as a volume control for your actual laptop, your Apple volume, say. VPOTs work exactly the same as the UF-8. With the main large screen on the UF-1, you've got three modes of work, which is the general DAW selection. There's DAW with faders, which means that you can use the little buttons underneath to actually change the volume of your faders, which is really handy. And also you can use it in meter mode. And this is, I think, what I'll be using it the most for. The first thing you need to do is to put the plug-in meter on your mix bus. Within the meter mode, there are three different views. There are the analog meters, which are basically VUs. There's a 31 band analyzer, which allows you to see how your mix is actually playing out in real time. And then the meters and scope, which shows you how your phase is and so on. The meters are actually also mirrored in the 360 program. In the analog meters, the black lines will show you the current level and the, there's a red line which will also show you the maximum volume that you've hit. You can change the setting of these meters to however you want them to react to the sound that's coming through them. The real-time analyzer analyzes between 20 hertz and 20k hertz. You can also change the speed of that. You can look at each individual band on its own. Another really cool thing is if you have a UC-1, you can set the large screen on the UF-1. We'll show you your EQ parameters on the screen, which is really cool. 
So $6.99 at Toman and uh, probably about the same in the States. I'm not sure exactly. The UF1 is going to be a great addition to anyone's home studio. I love the idea of the jog wheel because I'm continuously moving around through my song. Having the transports right there in front of you by your fingers is fantastic as well. Don't forget, guys, if you want to join my Patreon, please do. Of course, becoming a patron will help me to be able to afford to get these bits of gear and to continue recording as an independent artist thanks so much and we'll see you again next week Woo